Hello everyone. Imagine a world where the vast icy realms at the Earth's poles have completely melted away. This scenario, though extreme, helps us understand the profound impacts of climate change on our planet. Let's delve into what would happen if our poles melted completely. The Earth's poles, comprising the Arctic in the north and Antarctica in the south, are critical components of our global climate system. The polar ice caps, massive sheets of ice and snow, play a vital role in regulating the Earth's temperature. These icy expanses reflect a significant portion of the sun's rays back into space, a phenomenon known as the albedo effect. This helps maintain a balance in the Earth's temperature. But what if this reflective shield were to disappear? First, we would see a dramatic rise in sea levels. The ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica hold vast quantities of frozen water. If all this ice were to melt, it's estimated that global sea levels could rise by up to 70 meters. This would be catastrophic, submerging coastal cities and reshaping continents. Millions, if not billions of people would be displaced, causing unprecedented global crises. The immediate effects would be most visible in coastal areas. Cities like New York, Shanghai, and Mumbai would face severe flooding, with many areas becoming uninhabitable. Low-lying island nations, such as the Maldives, would face the threat of complete submersion. The resulting displacement of populations would lead to a myriad of challenges, including resource scarcity, housing crises, and potential conflicts over habitable land. But the consequences extend far beyond rising sea levels. The melting of polar ice would also disrupt global weather patterns. The poles act as the Earth's air conditioners, and without them, we would see extreme weather events become more frequent and intense. The loss of the polar ice caps would lead to a redistribution of ocean currents and atmospheric conditions, potentially triggering drastic changes in climate across the globe. The Arctic region, in particular, would undergo dramatic transformation. The melting of sea ice would open up new shipping routes, which, while economically beneficial, could lead to geopolitical tensions over control of these passages. Additionally, the disappearance of ice would threaten the survival of unique wildlife that depends on these icy habitats, such as polar bears and seals. The cascading effects on the food chain and ecosystem balance would be profound. Moreover, the melting ice would release trapped greenhouse gases like methane, which is many times more potent than carbon dioxide in trapping heat in the atmosphere. This release could accelerate global warming, creating a feedback loop that exacerbates the very problem causing the ice to melt. In Antarctica, the consequences would be equally dire. The unique ecosystems and biodiversity of the continent, adapted to extreme cold and ice, would be under threat. The loss of ice would also expose the land underneath, leading to potential exploitation for resources, further disturbing the fragile environmental balance. In summary, the complete melting of our poles would be a catastrophic event with far-reaching implications. It would not only lead to significant geographical changes, but also disrupt the delicate ecological balance and the lives of billions of people. It's a stark reminder of the importance of combating climate change and preserving these critical regions of our planet. The melting of the Earth's polar ice caps isn't just a hypothetical scenario. It's a process that's already underway. Scientists have been monitoring the shrinkage of polar ice for decades, and the findings are alarming. The rate of ice loss has accelerated in recent years, a trend closely linked to the rise in global temperatures due to human-induced climate change. But how exactly does this process work, and what can be done to slow it down? Let's start by understanding the science behind ice melting at the poles. Both the Arctic and Antarctic are affected by rising global temperatures, but the processes and impacts differ between the two regions. In the Arctic, the most significant change is the loss of sea ice. Unlike the Antarctic, the Arctic's ice is primarily floating on the ocean. As the planet warms, this sea ice melts, reducing the albedo effect whereby the white ice surface reflects sunlight back into space. 
Darker ocean water absorbs more sunlight, which in turn causes more warming and more melting, a vicious cycle known as a positive feedback loop. This has profound implications not only for the Arctic ecosystem, but also for the global climate. In Antarctica, the situation is slightly different. The Antarctic ice sheet is the largest single mass of ice on Earth, covering an area of about 14 million square kilometers and containing 61% of all fresh water on Earth. The main concern here is the melting of this ice sheet, which would contribute significantly to sea level rise. The Antarctic ice sheet is also affected by warming ocean temperatures, which erode the ice shelves from below, making them more vulnerable to breaking apart. As dire as this situation may seem, there are global efforts underway to mitigate these effects. One of the key strategies is reducing greenhouse gas emissions, which are the primary driver of climate change and the resulting ice melt. This involves transitioning to renewable energy sources, increasing energy efficiency, and developing sustainable transportation methods. Another critical area of focus is climate research and monitoring. By understanding the intricacies of how and why the ice is melting, scientists can make more accurate predictions and help policymakers make informed decisions. Satellites, research stations, and climate models are all tools used to monitor the polar regions and study the effects of climate change. There is also a growing emphasis on international cooperation. Climate change is a global problem that requires global solutions. Agreements like the Paris Climate Accord represent significant steps towards unified action against climate change. Countries are coming together to set emission reduction targets and share technologies and strategies for sustainable development. Additionally, protecting the polar regions involves specific conservation efforts. This includes establishing marine protected areas to safeguard vulnerable ecosystems and wildlife, regulating fishing and shipping activities to minimize environmental impact, and enforcing strict protocols for scientific research and tourism to prevent ecological disturbance. As individuals, there's also a role to play. From reducing our carbon footprint to supporting policies and initiatives that combat climate change, every action counts. It's about making conscious choices in our daily lives, whether it's using public transportation, consuming less and recycling more, or supporting sustainable products and companies. In conclusion, while the complete melting of the polar ice caps presents a grim scenario, it's not an inevitable fate. Through science, international cooperation and individual action, we can work towards a future where these vital regions of our planet are preserved. Our actions today will determine the world we live in tomorrow, and the health of the polar regions is a critical part of that future. As we've explored the potential consequences of the complete melting of the Earth's polar ice caps and the efforts to prevent this, it's crucial to consider what the future might hold. Let's envision two scenarios, one where global efforts to combat climate change succeed and another where they fail. In a future where our efforts succeed, the picture is cautiously optimistic. In this scenario, the world has managed to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The transition to renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and hydro is widespread, and deforestation has been curbed, allowing forests to continue acting as carbon sinks. The polar ice caps, while still affected by past emissions, are melting at a much slower rate, giving ecosystems and wildlife a chance to adapt. Sea level rise is more manageable, reducing the threat to coastal cities and island nations. In this optimistic future, international cooperation on climate issues is strong. Countries adhere to their commitments under international agreements like the Paris Climate Accord. There is a global understanding that the health of the polar regions is integral to the health of the planet. Conservation efforts are robust, with protected areas effectively managed and ecological disturbances minimized. However, in a scenario where efforts to mitigate climate change fail, the outlook is starkly different. In this future, greenhouse gas emissions have continued to rise, accelerating the warming of the planet.
The polar ice caps melt at an alarming rate, leading to significant sea level rise. Coastal cities and entire island nations are submerged, causing massive displacement and humanitarian crises. In this scenario, the loss of the reflective ice surfaces exacerbates global warming, leading to extreme weather conditions. The delicate balance of global ecosystems is disrupted, with numerous species, including those unique to polar regions, facing extinction. The release of trapped greenhouse gases from melting permafrost further accelerates climate change. In both scenarios, the importance of the polar regions cannot be overstated. They are not just remote, icy landscapes, they are integral to the Earth's climate system. The health of the poles is directly linked to the health of the entire planet. They regulate global temperatures, influence weather patterns, and support unique ecosystems. The fate of the poles is, in many ways, our fate as well. To conclude, the question of what happens if our poles melt completely is more than just a thought experiment. It's a critical consideration for our future. The decisions we make today will shape the world for generations to come. The melting of the polar ice caps is a stark reminder of the urgency of addressing climate change. It challenges us to act, not just as individual nations, but as a global community committed to preserving our planet. The poles are a barometer for the health of our Earth, and their protection is essential for a sustainable future. As we wrap up this exploration, it's clear that the fate of our poles is inextricably linked to our actions. It's a call to action for all of us to take the steps necessary to protect these crucial regions of our planet and in turn safeguard the future of the Earth itself.